product that comes in a variety of different colors but maybe you don't actually have a sample of every single color that your product comes in so maybe you don't actually have the option to photograph every different color variety of your products well there is a way that you can change the color of your products in post-production or in editing and that's what we're going to be doing in today's session using adobe lightroom are you ready let's get started we are now in adobe lightroom the desktop version and i have here a photo of a white bottle which i took recently um, i've already edited this photo to make the background perfectly white and just remove any of the distracting marks on the product but what we're going to do now is work on changing the color of this bottle so you may be selling a similar product to this which comes in a variety of different colors so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over to the tools panel on the right here and just find our mask tool which is this one here just click on that to open it and you can see i've already got one mask here if i hover over that the background turns red so that's a mask for my background um, if you do want to learn how to create a white background, I do have a video on how I did that. I'll drop the link in the description so you can check that out. What we're going to do now, now is we're going to create a new mask. So just click on this plus button here and you get a load of options. What we're going to do is we're going to select subject. So just click on that and Lightroom will do its thing for a minute and now you can see that my bottle has appeared red now this isn't a completely perfect selection um, we've got the bit in between the handle here which is actually the background we don't want to be changing the color of that we also don't want to be changing the color of the handle or actually the silver part at the top of the bottle so what i'm just going to do is i'm going just to make some changes to this mask that we have created just using the add and subtract buttons here so i'm going to start with that subtract button again when you click on that you get those options for a mask this time we're going to use the brush option so now we have down the bottom here we have our brush options so we have the size, feather flow, and density of the mask of the mask of the brush that we're going to be putting on. So when I hover over the image, you can see I've now got a brush circle there with a little minus sign inside it. And if I just click and hold on the mouse, I can just paint over this part of the bottle that I don't want to be included in the mask. So I'm just doing this quickly, just for demonstration purposes just doing it like that now that's done a pretty good job but i just want to tidy that up a little bit so i'm going to press the space bar on my keyboard and you see our mouse turns into a magnifying glass if i click on that it will zoom in to 100 percent so i'm a lot closer to the image now if you did want to zoom in a bit more you've got the navigator panel on the left here with your view options so you can zoom to 100 percent or if we just click on these two arrows here you've got many different options as to how much you can zoom in so if i zoom into 200 percent we get even closer can get even more detail um, we can always go all the way up to 1600 percent which is a little bit over the top um, i'm actually just going to go back to the 100 percent for this product because i think that's perfectly fine but if you really have a lot of details then you might want to zoom in a bit more just to make sure you're making that selection perfect so again just going across with that brush here just tidying that up and making sure i get rid of all of that that i don't want in my selection now with the selection you can actually also change the color of your selection um, if say red isn't the color that is best for working with your product if you come over again to the right panel here we've got this little red square 
if we click on that, we can actually change the color to pretty much any color we want. So I can change it to green, which may help me to work out what is being selected and what isn't. Um, and just looking at this a closer up, you can see there's a few bits here where the selection has just gone slightly over the edge. So again, I'm just going to tidy that up. Okay, I'm just doing this quickly for demonstration purposes. So this is not going to be a perfect copy of the product here, but just go down quickly down the side there, just tidying that up. So it seems only on me, on this image, to have that problem just on the right side of the bottle. So that's a quick tidy up there. Okay, and then we've got a little bit at the bottom. I'm not going to worry too much about that. But if I just look on this left side here of the bottle, there's a bit that hasn't been selected. So now we want to actually add to the selection. <coughs> so the same thing as subtracting but we're going to hit the add button this time and again just using that brush tool now you can see that we've got a plus sign inside our brush and if i just paint over the edge of that there okay, just doing this super quickly for you just to show you how it works and just painting all the way down the edge there so that, that is all green okay and now we have our selection okay so our bottle isn't green it just looks green at the minute so if i turn that off you can see it is still white we can turn the overlay on and off so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to turn that overlay off at the minute so you can't see the selection i have but if we scroll down in our tools panel here, we've now got these tools here in this lighter gray box. These are the tools that we can use to edit that mask selection that we have. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna scroll right down to the bottom of this and you've got something called color at the bottom here. And a little box is currently white with a gray um, cross in it to say that I don't have any color effects added at the moment. Okay, so I can change the color of my bottle to anything I want, basically, just by clicking anywhere on this spectrum to get that color that I want. And you see how it is only changing the color of the bottle. So literally any color I want. Now, if you do have a set color for your product, um, you can actually find out the uh, saturation of the hue and the saturation level of that color and add it in here. Um, I'm going to drop a link to a website which I use to actually check the colors. So I'll just bring that up over here for you. So this is the website that I'm using right now and it, what it does is if you scroll down you can see all your colors on the right here. It tells you the red, green and blue values of the colour. It gives you that hex number, which is what you're probably familiar with when editing colours on your website. It gives you also the colour name and then it gives you the hue and the saturation numbers. So if I, let's just go for this third one down here, a nice red. So if I go for 355 hue and 77 saturation. So let's come back into Lightroom, come back to that colour. Now, what was it? I said 377 for the hue and that saturation, well, no, 355 and 77. Sorry, I got that wrong. So, three, 355 and then 77. And we say enter and there we go. We're getting that pink colour coming through. It's maybe not quite as dark as we want, but we can just increase the brightness and the darkness of this as well. So if I just scroll up here to exposure, again, go back to this screen, we've got a lightness value there, which is 52. So now if I change my exposure to 52, so again, just play, you can just play with that exposure slider to brighten and darken the color of your product there as well. 
So that is it for today's video. Um, if you do want to learn more about editing your products, please do let me know in the comments. Again, if you have any questions about this process, let me know in the comments and I'll reach out to you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next week. Bye bye.